Did you get a sudden hearing loss in one ear that you attribute to earwax buildup or fluid buildup? Well, I have some bad news for you, because in this video, I'm talking about a serious medical condition called sudden sensory neural hearing loss. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. The vast majority of the time, hearing loss has a very gradual onset and it may take even years before you start noticing it affecting your communication abilities. However, in some cases, hearing loss can come at the snap of a finger, like when you wake up in the morning and you can't hear anything out of one of your ears, or if you hear a loud pop and instantly your hearing goes away. Now, most people feel that these sudden cases of hearing loss are caused by just a buildup of earwax inside of your ear, and the best way to restore your hearing is to actually dig out that earwax with a Q-tip or pour some peroxide in there and flush it out. But what if I told you that in some cases, a sudden hearing loss like this is actually a medical emergency and requires immediate medical attention? A sudden sensory neural hearing loss, or SSHL, is a medical condition that results in a significant decline in your hearing ability, and it happens almost instantly. SSHL is characterized by a 30 decibel drop in hearing at three adjacent frequencies that are tested, and these happen relatively quickly, and it usually only affects one ear. Now, to completely understand what a sudden sensory neural hearing loss is, we need to go ahead and drop off the sudden and just talk about sensory neural hearing loss. The ear is divided into three sections, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of the pinna and the ear canal. The middle ear consists of the eardrum, the ossicles, otherwise known as the middle ear bones, the middle ear space, and the eustachian tube. The inner ear consists of the cochlea, otherwise known as our hearing organ, the vestibular system, otherwise known as our balance system, and the auditory nerve that sends sound information to our brain. Normally, sound passes through the ear canal and vibrates the eardrum. That vibration then moves through the three ossicles to the cochlea, where that sound is converted into a neural signal that is sent up that auditory nerve to the brain. A sensory neural hearing loss occurs when there's damage to the cochlea or the auditory nerve. This hearing loss is most often permanent, meaning it will not return to normal with medication or surgical intervention. With a sudden sensory neural hearing loss, there is often damage to the cochlea or the auditory nerve that occurs rapidly instead of gradually. Contrast this with a conductive hearing loss where sound is blocked somewhere in the outer ear or the middle ear, like you would experience with earwax in your ear canal or fluid buildup in your middle ear, which prevents sound from reaching the cochlea. This is why it's so difficult to identify by yourself if you're having a conductive hearing loss or if you're actually having a sudden sensory neural hearing loss. The thing about sudden sensory neural hearing loss is that it is in fact considered a medical emergency, which means you should seek out medical treatment as fast as humanly possible. Now you really want to schedule an appointment with an ear, nose, and throat physician, otherwise known as an otolaryngologist, or even an otologist who specializes in the ears. Appropriate diagnosis and immediate medical treatment are critical if you want a shot at getting your hearing back. Sometimes medical professionals who are not ear specialists will misdiagnose a sudden sensory neural hearing loss thinking that it's just congestion in the middle ear space or something like fluid buildup. If this happens, you may not receive the appropriate treatment in a timely manner, which means you might not get your hearing back. To appropriately diagnose your hearing loss, an audiologist or a physician will take a look inside of your ears to determine if there's any kind of a blockage. If there's not, they will continue on with a comprehensive hearing evaluation where they will determine the type of your hearing loss and the severity of your hearing loss. This test should include pure tone air and bone conduction, speech testing, tympanometry, and even acoustic reflexes. Your ENT or otologist may also order a CT scan or an MRI just to ensure that there's no tumor growing inside of your brain or on your auditory nerve, which may be causing the sudden loss. And there may be some additional testing that your doctor will have you go through just to rule out any other possible causes of your sudden hearing loss. Most cases of sudden sensory neural hearing loss are idiopathic, meaning that there's no known cause even after a full workup is completed. The most common known causes are viral infections and circulatory issues like lack of blood flow to the cochlea. Some additional known causes of sudden sensory neural hearing loss include, and bear with me here, bacterial infections, autoimmune disorders, traumatic injuries, vascular disorders like a blood clot, 
acoustic neuromas, otherwise known as tumors, metabolic conditions like diabetes, neurologic conditions like multiple sclerosis, chemical agents like chemotherapy drugs or other medications, or otologic conditions such as Meniere's disease or enlarged vestibular aqueduct syndrome. The sooner you seek treatment for this condition, the better, and I cannot stress this enough. The earlier the treatment, the more likely you are to receive partial or complete restoration of hearing. Now, sometimes restoration of hearing can happen spontaneously in the first two weeks of this occurring, but in most cases, if you go two to three months, you're not gonna be getting that hearing back. When it comes to treatment, oral steroids are probably the most common treatment method out there for sudden sensory neural hearing loss. And after you complete the entire regimen of that prescription, you should have your hearing tested again to see if there's been any recovery. And if there's been limited to no recovery, you may actually receive transtympanic injection of steroids. For this procedure, your physician will use a needle to inject the steroid through your eardrum and into your middle ear space. These injections concentrate the steroid to where it can be absorbed by your cochlea, which may reduce side effects compared to oral steroids. If your hearing does not return to normal with these medical treatments, then you may have to start considering hearing aids, cross devices, bone anchored hearing aids, or even a cochlear implant. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these treatment options, I will go ahead and link some videos in the description. Sudden hearing loss is no joke, so if you notice a significant drop in your hearing in one or both of your ears, do not just assume that it's earwax or fluid buildup. You need to get in and see a medical professional immediately so you can get an accurate diagnosis and treatment as soon as humanly possible so you have the best shot at restoring your hearing. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.